Okay, so for today, I'm gonna share to you how I reacted to the COVID-19 vaccine which I just had here in Singapore. But first, I'm gonna share to you how was my work and life here in Singapore during the COVID-19 epidemic. Hi guys, it's Camille B here and welcome back to my channel! And for those who are new here, don't forget to subscribe to join me for more fun and experience. Okay, so for today, I'm gonna share to you how I reacted to the COVID-19 vaccine which I just had here in Singapore. But first, I'm gonna share to you how was my work and life here in Singapore during the COVID-19 epidemic. Maybe most of you don't know that I am working here in Singapore in the healthcare sector. So they prioritize people who are in high risk of being infected with COVID-19, which includes the healthcare workers and also the frontline workers. We all know that COVID-19 has greatly affected our lives since the time it started. So it greatly affected our lives that we have this so-called new normal, which includes wearing masks every time we go out and also maintaining social distancing. So speaking aside, when COVID-19 started, we were urged to take flu vaccine at work to prevent us from having flu, of course, because COVID vaccine wasn't available yet at that time. And one of the symptoms is flu. So I think the flu vaccine was for us to prevent flu during that time. Um, if I remember it right, we had a total of two shots, but I really don't remember the gap between them. Um, but I think it's recommended to take a yearly flu vaccine, especially during the flu season. So additionally, we were also required to have a two-monthly COVID-19 test through swabbing at our workplace. So at first, our nurses are the ones doing the swab test for us, but then I think they decided to be, to do self-swabbing. So there was there will be a nurse just beside us to guide us on how to do the swab test. And then after doing self-swabbing, you would put your specimen in a, into a test tube and then it would be sent to a certain facility, testing facility. I really don't know where, but then we will receive the results after around two to three days. And then, yeah, we all got negative results in our workplace every time we had our swab testing, thankfully. So yeah, that was the setting at our workplace. So let's talk about the vaccine now. Um, when the vaccine was released and it arrived here in Singapore, our company took um, a survey on each and every one of us on whether we wanted to take the vaccine or not. Um, it was voluntary, but then again, it is strongly recommended by the government to have the vaccine for everyone's safety. So how did I come up with the decision to take the vaccine? So at first, I was really scared because of the news that is spreading that people are dying, people are having severe allergic reactions, etc. And et so I was really afraid that I took the last minute to answer the survey and have the vaccine. So yeah, I was like, bahala na kung ano yung mangyari, if it will be, it will be. That was my mindset during that time. So yeah, <laughs> I scheduled my first dose on January 21, 2021. And my second dose was due after 21 days, which is February 11, 2021. So here I am, alive and kicking. <laughs> But the question is, what vaccine did I take and what are the side effects of it? Let's find out. So let's talk about the vaccine first. So there were about six types of vaccines released or approved by WHO, which for me, I read it personally. I read, which, I read it personally, okay? Um, I'm not sure if there are new ones or there are... They updated the list, but then the ones that I know are the AstraZeneca, Sinovac, Moderna, Pfizer, BioNTech, Sputnik, and the Johnson and Johnson. With the Moderna and the Pfizer having the highest efficacy of preventing COVID-19 at 95%. The first one that Singapore acquired was the Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine. This was the brand which was administered to me. And I think just this month, uh, yeah, I think just this month, the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine has been authorized to be here or to be used here in Singapore. Okay. 
Okay, just a short preview of the vaccine that I took, which is the Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine. This Pfizer brand uses mRNA from the virus and our, our body's natural reaction or natural response is to produce antibodies for this, thus giving us protection from the virus. And this vaccine, as I said, has two doses with the, the second dose due after 21 to 25 days and then yeah both doses are needed to have full vaccine protection and for the protection to last longer moving on to my experience in taking the covid 19 vaccine my first dose was last january 21 and yeah during my first dose we were given vaccination information information sheet to provide us for more knowledge about on the vaccine we are going to take so it looks like this it's a maybe booklet on different informations that you should know about the vaccine like okay i'll scroll to it for a while so it tells about covid what is covid 19 and then what is the pfizer BioNTech. COVID-19 vaccine and then the, who should get the vaccine, who should not get the vaccine and the, how is it administered and the possible side effects of it and of course other advice after vaccination so everything is in here for you to read so it is really helpful to at least read this before or before taking the vaccine and to help you understand more about the vaccine. So the process of having the vaccine here in Singapore is to register first, register first, and then the vaccination. And then lastly is the observation, which is at least 30 minutes after the vaccine has been administered to you before you are allowed to go out of the premises. Um, for me, nothing happened during the time period of, way of the observation during the span of the 30 minutes. And I just waited for them to, for their go signal for me to be cleared and leave. However, after two to three hours of getting my vaccination, I started to feel heaviness on my left arm, which is where they administer the vaccine, usually on the non-dominant side. So I had heaviness on my left arm, which is pretty normal side effect of the vaccine. And after a while, it was tender that I couldn't touch it and even my clothes rubbing against my shoulder was super painful. And when I got home, I was really, really tired. I felt tiredness. Though I came from the zoo walking before I had my shot. So I really, I'm not really sure if it's from the vaccine or from walking on the zoo. And then, <laughs> and then the next day, it was still heavy and tender that I have to be careful in wearing my shirt. Additionally, I couldn't lift my shoulder up because of the pain. <laughs> it was just in the evening before I showered that I realized or I felt that there was swelling around the area. No wonder it was painful to even the lightest touch. Okay, the, for me, the pain and swelling lasted for five days. I couldn't sleep properly because of that, especially that I want that I really want to sleep inside lying position. So yeah. Overall, I didn't have any severe reaction to my first dose and I was okay after all the side effects subsided. And for the second dose, which I took last Feb February 11, it was still the same pro procedure, registration, vaccination, and observation. The side effects also appeared after 2-3 to three hours for me. I had heaviness and pain in the same area and I couldn't lift my hand up. I mean my arms or my shoulder up and swelling also appeared though the swelling was a bit bigger it was not as much painful as the first one so the side effects were milder and they also subsided faster for me which is around for which is around three days three days I didn't have the side effects anymore so yeah that was my experience after taking the COVID-19 vaccine up until now I am still fine just saying the sides the side effects are based on my experience i am not saying that this would be the same for everyone um, people may react differently from the vaccine so better be sure on your past medical history to ensure your own safety before having the vaccine 
So I had the usual side effects from the vaccine. Actually, it is similar to the flu vaccine that I took before. So you would really feel heaviness on the side of the injection, though flu vaccine would give you a milder side effect actually. Yeah, but what if I had the worst or the severe side effect? Um, according to the information sheet that they gave us, the possible side effects should be managed through rest and pain relievers. Those are the two basic things you need to do, rest or take pain medications. Uh, however, you need to see a doctor if the symptoms persist or it gets worse. And in worst case scenario, what, which it rarely occurs, is that if you had severe allergic reactions, you, su you should seek for medical attention by calling emergency medical services or going to the nearest A&E or the emergency room of the hospital nearest to you. And for those who haven't taken the vaccine yet or those deciding to take the vaccine, it is really recommended for everyone's safety. Um, but then be sure your body is healthy and medically fit or eligible to take the vaccine. So if you're still doubting, do more research and reading to come up with a clear decision for yourself. So yeah, that's it for today. Be safe and bye guys!